niece, to Doug and Pat Akima, who live on Yak Hill Road in Shenango Forks, and a daughter to Charlie Heisinga, who lives on Fort Road. They both are dairy farmers, or at least my father was, until his farm burned down 18 years ago in the town of Afton. At that point in time, the fire marshal said, should we save your farm? It was almost half gone. He said, he said, no, my son doesn't want to work on my farm. There's no money in it for him. 20 years later, almost, if he still had that property, he would have the means to establish a bigger dairy business, one that could incorporate his son and his grandsons and my children and the many other grandchildren that are involved in our family. My uncle, Doug Akama, struggles. He struggled for years to keep his farm going on Yacht Hill Road. He has two sons that both are actively involved in running that farm, but they both have other jobs. Those jobs are to help support their families while they help their father run that farm. I heard people say they wish they could see more farmers producing crops and coming to Hudson Angle Park on Saturday morning. Some of those farmers are friends of my father, my uncle. They have farms in Windsor. They grow organic vegetables. They profited from the gas leases. They've been able to expand their farms, to have lower school taxes, which will allow them to grow crops that our people in our town benefit from on Saturday morning at Otsonado Park. Farmers only want what's best for our community and what's best for our soil and our water and for the animals that they have on their farms. They have worked day and night to produce so we would have food in the grocery stores only to see milk prices plummet and that they can't hand it on to their children and their grandchildren. I have two uncles that came here from the Netherlands with my father. Of all of the 19 grandchildren that are still with us, there's two that still own dairy farms, and only because they've become the big corporate farm with big trucks running on the road. But that's how they can afford to stay in business and have a business for their family. So I am for gas drilling 